did. This is live. Let me get my chat going. All right. So I know everybody's probably sleeping or whatever, but I wanted to jump on here. I was waiting for my baby to go to sleep. She finally fell asleep. And so I've been wanting to do this live. I've been playing with this die here from Spellbinders. It is the double and single peonies at Hobby Lobby. This is what it looks like. It's by Spellbinders. And so I told you guys when I hauled this that I wanted to make some vellum flowers. And so that is what I did. Um, these are my practice ones. And I used pink vellum. On this one here, I sprayed some gold shimmer spray that I got from Urban Gems quite a long time ago. Okay. So any like shimmer sprays will work great. Now you're if you're using vellum, it will buckle. I'll tell you that. Um, I actually painted this with a paintbrush. So I don't know how I like the look so far. And then this one is like my practice. I just was like messing around. I put like some gold around the edges and then I put some stickles in there too. No, these are not stickles. This is actually a paste that I got from Urban Gems as well. And she still has this in her shop, guys. She has this in different colors. It is called Glitz Glitter Gel. Okay, if you're interested. That is what I used on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So what I like about these dies is that each one of them, it says how many you should cut out. So it says you should cut this one four times, this one three times, and then this one two times, okay, to make a peony. I believe that's how you say it. And so I use pink vellum, and then I also use regular white vellum. This is some that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance a while ago in the wedding section for $1.74. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'll put this to the side. And I went ahead and I cut some already. And so I just folded, like with vellum, you can cut a lot at once. So I folded these sheets in half. Damn it, I pulled. I'm missing a leaf on one of them. Okay, so these are all of them. And it also cuts out, you got your um, your leaves here. And then this is for the middle. You want to make like a little stamen or whatever, like so, okay? But I'm not messing with that. Let me move my vellum out the way. So what I did is just I grabbed a bunch of sheets and I folded it in half so I can get more. You know, I'm a lazy die cutter. I don't like die cutting too much. So I try to get as much in it as I can, all right? I have this little foam thing from Tuesday morning, I believe. It's from it's by We Are Memory Keepers. And then I'm going to be using this tool from Dollar Tra. okay? If you guys don't have this tool, go get it. You can use it to score. You can use this for so many things to pick up gems. So many options, so many things. I can't find my um, my ones that are, like, huge so this is going to have to do, all right? And then I got some little jemmies for the middle. And then I also grabbed some inks that I wanted to, like, experiment with, okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get started. So I want to play with this white one. You guys can totally manipulate the color of vellum by using your alcohol, I mean, not alcohol, you can use alcohol inks as well. You might get a lot of buckling and stuff because it's pretty, you know, like it's a, um, it's like a water. But with inks, you can have it, you can get a really nice finish. Okay, I got my thing right here. Finally get to use one of these. All right, so let's try this color right here. I got this on clearance, maybe. I probably pay regular price for this. I don't know. Let me kind of... Let's just go in. Let's go right in. Mm, let's see. I wonder if these are still juicy or not. 
Yeah. You can see it a little bit. Not much. So the pink vellum is like really, really... It's like a dark pink when they're layered. You know? You see how dark that is? So I kind of want to see if I can get a lighter pink. And this is just me experimenting, guys, okay? Because I want to encourage you guys to experiment with your inks. Oh, that's a really nice, pretty pink. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's let it dry. And then we'll do some more. I'm going to ink all this up. Do I want to ink it all up? Do I care? Mm. I need to get one of those like glass mats in my life. Let's do this. This is how expensive that dye is at Hobby Lobby, guys. It's $29.99. But I got it when it was 40% off. And I think that it's worth every penny. Okay. So it's just a really light pink. Hey, Natalie. And I'm just going to do each one. I kind of want to, let's try this saltwater taffy. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be prettier. Let's try that one. Okay, because this is um, dye ink. Let's try the oxides because I think it's going to give me a nicer finish. I'm going to try to blot some of this away. There's barely anything on there anyways. All right, let's try this saltwater taffy. Am I seeing that right? Yeah. Oh, yes, that looks so much better. This is like a more chalkier finish, which I like. This is pretty. Okay. And you can dictate whether you want to put it more on the edges. Look at how gorgeous. These blenders are from Alina Crafts, I think. Yeah, I'm not feeling this dye one. I'm going to go over it with this. The oxides look perfect on this vellum. And I'm not making these completely pink. I kind of like want to put a little here, a little there. You know what I mean? All right. There's that one. Let's redo this one. Yeah, I don't suggest that dyed ink one. The oxides look bomb on this vellum, as you can see. Okay. And then let's do some of the smaller ones. Make sure you get your layers out because I did put a bunch. See, there's two here. It looks like one. But there's actually two. All right. Look how pretty, guys. This color is perfect. I'm digging this color. Okay. You can really see it here on the side. Look at that color. It's pretty. All right, let's do a few of these, and then we can put some of these together. Hey, Alicia. What's going on, girl? Guys, share this live for me. I know everybody's probably sleeping. I had to wait for Ava to go to sleep. She tricked me. I thought she was sleeping, and she wasn't. Yes, it looks really pretty on vellum. So again, you can use the pink vellum as well. And I'll leave a link to that because I got that on, on Amazon. But when you layer it, it's, it comes out pretty dark. And I want to go for like a lighter, softer pink. Okay. 
Now, I'm not a huge fan of making flowers, guys, because it's so much work. And I'm one of those quick wham, bam, thank you, ma'am crafters. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I go for. So these are definite, definitely labors of love. Okay, they're definitely labors of love. Very time consuming. Here's some tiny ones. So I really suggest you guys picking up that die is so bomb. It's worth every penny. Every penny. I hate this damn camera thing. Okay. So you can alter your vellum, guys. Use your oxides and your inks. All right. I think we got enough to do a flower, okay? So let's move this to the side. Let me cover this up. This is my new precious. Don't use the dye inks. They're not that good on here. They're not the best. I really like the oxides because it's got that chalky. Look at how pretty these came out. Love them. All right, so let me show you guys how we're going to do these, okay? You can just do... Take one of these things. This is from Dollar Tree, guys. Okay, I can't find my bigger one, so I'm going to make do with this. All you have to do is have one of these, like, little foam things and basically just make circles and push down in the middle. Okay? And so I like to kind of, like, go up here. So you can do it just like this, just the middle, and then you have, like, that... You know, and layer your flowers like that. But I actually like to use the little smaller one. And I like to, like, kind of make lines. Okay. Like veins. This is what... Oh, no! I pushed too hard. Don't do that. Be gentle with your vellum. It's fine. It will, uh, We'll cover it up with the layers. But I like to do the lines like that. It just gives, like, a little extra detail i used this die here from hobby lobby it is called double and single peonies it's 29.99 by spellbinders and this is the i guess the little code but this is what it looks like guys okay you get all these and i, I was saying that i like this die because it tells you how many times to cut three times four times two times and then you get the leaves in the middles as well get it when it's 40 percent off so I'm just going to do the same thing to all of them, okay? Going to be a little more gentle with this. Make your lines if you want. And then go in with the bigger side. And do your flowers, okay? Hey, Cheryl, what are you doing up so late? Hey, Sandra. Thought you would be sleeping. Oh, my God. Don't push so hard. Be gentle. Okay, so I'm just making vellum flowers, guys. If you're just joining. I'm using that Spellbinders die, the peony one that I hauled from Hoobie Looby. Hey, Eve. Please share this live for me, guys. Get all the night owls here. Okay. And so you can do as many as you like. So, guys, if you're just joining, I just took some vellum and I inked these with some saltwater taffy. I used white vellum like this and I just inked them with that ink and look at how pretty they came out. Okay. So, I'm using this Dollar Tree thing to make the little veins and I'm just pressing down gently. You can do as little or as many as you like. Or you cannot do this part. I'll do it with and without. You guys can see the difference. I just think it gives a nice little detail. And then just round your leaves, okay? Let me try to keep these together by size somehow. Thank you. So we'll do with lines and without. This one's going to be with. Okay, and then use the bigger side. 
All right. And let's do some tiny ones. I'm going to put one together already. Guys, flower making is so time consuming. That's why I really don't do it. I rather pay someone to do stuff like this. Because your girl ain't got time. You ain't got time for this. I'm doing this especially for you guys, okay? Because I love y'all. That is the only reason why I'm doing this. I mean, we really don't got to do the inner ones, but I'll do it. So with the inner ones, I like to do like a really tight one. And then one that's a little more looser. That one's just a plain white one. Here it goes. So we'll do this one a little more loose, like that. Hey, DB. Guys, how bomb does this oxide look on this? Oh my God, I want like every color oxide now. Just so I can manipulate my vellum. So guys, if you're making rosettes and stuff like that, I, and you wanna like use vellum, I highly, highly suggest you using like a big brush like this. And you can alter the color of your vellum, okay? All right. I know my little crumb snatchers are not up. So let's go ahead and build this flower, okay? Put a little glue. And you always want to alter your layers, your leaves your petals, okay? You don't want them to be like right on each other. You want them to, to turn them a little bit, okay? Alter them. Let me see what you guys are saying. I seen this die too at Hobby Lobby, yes. Where did you get the big brush at? These are from Alina Crafts, okay? I got these from Alina Crafts. I hauled these not too long ago. I just never have the time to play with certain things, so I'm trying to be better at that, guys. I really am trying to use, I mean, sometimes I don't have time to craft like I really would want to. Look at how gorgeous, guys. Okay, so there goes three of the bigger ones. Let's go ahead and start layering the smaller layers. So this is a peony die. You bought the B ones? I saw that one. I, I decided not to get it. Just because I don't really craft with bees. And I already have a couple of bee dies. But if that bad boy goes on clearance, I definitely will grab it. Okay? And you guys can, like, you know, you can take your leaves. And you can, like, you know, manipulate them however you like. Roll them up on the corners. Whatever. I'm leaving them like this. Okay. Okay, and let me kind of just poke it in the middle. Okay. Isn't that pretty already, guys? I can't wait till I run out of this damn glue because I'm so sick of these um strings. So just keep on layering. I'm going to show you guys the die again for those of you who just came on. Be patient with me. Bye, Cheryl. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, alternate your layers. See, like I'm doing a lot in this one. All right, I'm just going to put in these little tiny ones. And then let me make this one tighter. Okay. And cup it. Look at how cute, guys. And you can even use, like, I think it would look really pretty if you did a darker color on the inner and then the lighter color on the outside. Look how pretty. Isn't that cute? All right, let's do some more. Um, Let me see what other colors I have. Let me see if I have a darker one so I can show you guys what I mean. 
Or actually, with this next one, I'm going to only ink on the inner, the inside with the same color. Okay. So let me show you guys the dye again for those of you who just came in. This is what it looks like. Okay. It's by Spellbinders at Hoobie Looby. And it's the double and single peonies. It's $29.99. Get it when it's 40% off. Okay. Okay. So I'm using this saltwater taffy. I actually want to use the blue. I want to use the blue. Let's just go ahead and use this because it's pretty. All right, so for this, I'm going to mainly do the middle. Let me get my little plastic. Okay. You can get some really cool effects. You can even, like, we could even do, like, pink and blue. No wonder I didn't buy it because it's dirty. <laughs> I know, girl, it's a little hefty, but I wasn't seeing anything there, and I was like, I'm getting this dye. It's really cute. Like I said, I really steer away from flower dyes because they're too much work. I don't like doing all this work. It's too much. They're labors of love. But I wanted to do this video. Okay, so you see that, guys? On this one, we did on the outside. We're going to do this one only in the inner. Okay. So I want to encourage you guys to use your vellum. Use your oxides make some pretty flowers and we're gonna need some jemmies for the middle of course some urban jemmies all right i don't want to go too far up but i want you to see that peak of pink you know what i'm saying so just experiment with your stuff guys i hope that you guys make these tag me because i want to see the different ways and the different techniques you guys use I did use pink vellum on this one, guys. And then I used some shimmer spray on this one. And then I was experimenting with this one. And I used um, this gold glitter gel from Urban Gems. Okay. You can use stickles. I think I put stickles on here as well. Just play with your stash, guys. You can use, like, Nouveau Drops. The clear ones. There's this one. I think it's called Morning Dew or something like that. And it's a clear one. And it'll look like if you put water drops. That'll be really cool. I broke this one. So this one's going to be the bottom one. Well, it don't matter. I can just layer off another. All right. So for this one, I'm not going to do those veins. Because I want to show you guys just some different looks. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. I don't want to put much on these. So like I said, you can use different colors. You can do like an ombre effect with pink and blue. If we have time, I'll do that. Because I think that'll be really pretty. And like I said, make sure you get through your layers, okay? Because sometimes it looks like there's only one. Hey, Lana. What are you doing up this late, girl? I thought my night owls weren't night owls no more. I'm like, they be sleeping early. Somebody get Tracy Boo here. I need my Tracy Boo. All right, let me cover this up. The oxides look bomb, as you can tell, okay? So let's move these flowers to the side. And let's go ahead and round them out. So like I said, with this one, we put the ink on the edges of the white vellum. Yeah, so many pretty colors. There's so many possibilities. And this one, we're going to put the ink in the middle. This brush, 
this brush one here, this is from Alina Crafts, guys. These are from Alina Crafts. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. It dries pretty quickly. I don't think it rubs off. All right, so let's go ahead and... So you can be a little gentle. Don't be too rough. I know I got these sausage fingers. All right. I really don't think it rubs off. It doesn't look that way at all. It will definitely probably rub off with like dye ones because I noticed that the dye ink I was using before this, the oxide, it was taking a long time to dry. But this one is like an immediate dry. You can see right away it just turns to like a nice chalky. Finish. Sandra made me break this one. This flower dye is from Spellbinders. It is from Hobby Lobby. It's the one that I hauled. It's called the Double and Single Peony. You guys wait till it gets 40% off at Hobby Lobby to get it. Because it is $30. I bought some new paste ink stuff. Yes, that's going to look really pretty. That's going to look really good, Alicia. Yes, it's always Sandra's fault. Even when you're not here, I blame you, girl. Okay. And these little babies, look at how cute they are. So you don't have to put all these together. You know, you can make um, some tiny ones. You can make different sizes. Yes, $29.99 from Hobby Lobby. All right, let's go ahead and layer this one up and let's see how it looks. Let's use the good one. I want to see how it looks with the white edges and the pink in the middle. Okay, so make sure that you turn these, alter them, so they're not laying exactly on top of each other. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. Okay. Look at how gorgeous. Guys, these are so pretty. I think I like it better like this. I like it better with the ink in the middle and the white edges. What do you guys think? You can see the difference between these two. It's more subtle. This color is gorgeous, guys. This is um saltwater taffy. And so when I was seeing the saltwater taffy, it was giving like coral peach, peachy vibes. But on this vellum, it looks very soft pinky. Very cute. I love the delicateness of it. So guys, wait for this to turn get to 40% off or even clearance. It might be hard to find now. Because my night owls are some savages. And y'all all around the globe. Oh no, this is the one that was supposed to go under it. Oh well. Sandra's fault. I kind of don't want to go any more than that. Because I want to put some bling in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. And you can still manipulate your, you know, your petals. Look at how gorgeous, guys. I like that. It's more subtle. You can see the difference between these two. They look like two completely different flowers. All right. Let me die cut some more because I do want to make some blue ones, guys. So this is the vellum that I'm using today. It is from the wedding section. It was clearanced out months ago. 
And so you're just going to take a couple of sheets. Hold on. No, hold on. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Jeez. Okay. So I take my vellum sheets, right? And I grab like three or four, right? And I fold them in half because vellum is very thin and you can die cut a lot with them, okay? Put these little cuties right here. I want to make a smaller one. All right. So again, like three, four sheets. Fold them in half and then you'll get even more. Okay. So you'll get like six in one. Okay. Or if you do four pages, you'll get eight in one. Okay. So let me go ahead and put my die on here. You might want to use washi tape so it can hold in place. Y'all know I ain't got time for that. All right. So just lay them on your vellum. So like I said, you might want to put tape so that they don't shift. I ain't got time for that. Let me write through my switch. Hi, Heather. Okay. And then, voila, you get all these cuts at once. Okay, guys? Use your washi, girl. I think I put too many pages. It's fine. As long as it doesn't shift when I put it in there. Sometimes it'll shift, you know, like when I'm putting my, my second plate. But I just put it right back on and it's fine. I put too many pages. I love my switch. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it, girl. I feel like I could poke these out still. And I'm going to try to do that because I am not. No, I can't do it. We'll leave it. Did I miss anybody else that came in? Where's Tracy Boo, guys? Wake her ass up. Okay. So this is what I love about Vellum, too. You can get tons, tons, tons of cuts at once. Just fold them bad boys in half. You're waiting for the black one? You better, I hope you got your notifications on because it's going to sell out quick again. I think you can buy the black one at Joann's. Debbie, I think the black one's available at Joann's. Y'all can let me know, let me know in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. All right, so let me move my scraps out the way. Look at all this. Okay, put our dies here. I'm going to grab another one of these. Because I don't want to mix the colors up. My local jo Joann's doesn't have any. But did they sell it at Joann's? Is it available at Joann's? Hmm. 
Oh man, I gotta get some more oxides, guys. I have to get like so many colors of oxides. Okay, so let's make these guys. Should we do? Should we do like an ombre? Let's do an ombre. Okay, put your little plastic here. Make sure you get through these layers. Make sure you don't got two sticking together. Should we do ombre, guys? Because this color right here is, I know it's gonna be fire. Salvage patina, or should we just make a? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna do both. <gasps> Why did I do that? The hell, my dumbass. I've been moving too fast, guys. Okay. Damn it! Don't do that, cause you're gonna get a muddy color. Mm. I don't know if my mind could let me like remember to switch. Let me slow down. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this one. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with the salvage patina and I'm gonna do the ends. Okay. We're gonna see how this looks. I still wanna keep some of that white. I'll show you guys how that looks. So I just want you guys to experiment. Look at how cute. So let's see how that comes out. Okay. Slow down, Bucci. Okay, girl. Blue. Oh, that's a lot. I need to do the pink first and then this blue. God, these lights are making me hot. Amaya, are you up? Because I know your ass is. Okay, just like that. Look at how pretty, guys. Oh, so pretty. You can barely see it. Can y'all see it? It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. What? $15? You guys better grab that set. Make sure it's the same one. It's the double. It's this one right here. And it's called double and single peonies. Get this one, guys. Okay, because you get all the pieces. It's regularly $30. Regularly $29.99. Okay. Oh my God, I need like every color of the oxides. I'm just saying, if y'all want to buy me some oxides, go and say, girl, some oxides, the pretty colors. Alicia, you aren't delayed, are you? Is Alicia delayed? All right, I think I'm doing too many of each one. Yeah, it don't matter. I want to make two of these. Okay, because like I said, these are labors of love. And I don't know if I'll be making any more of these. I got to move on to the next theme. Okay, so do this in the middle. God, this looks so gorgeous, guys. I can't wait to see this together. Okay, and then this on the tips. Is it the right one? You're just slow tonight? <laughs> it might be better for you to pick up in the store. I don't know about shipping. Look at how gorgeous, guys. So pretty. I hate paint shipping, too. All right, let's do these smaller ones. Be careful you don't mix these colors, guys, because it makes a muddy gaka color. Look at 
Lexi, are you up? I know one of these little crumb snatchers are up. These oxides are such a great investment because I think they sell like refills. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not like a big, I'm not into all this stuff. Oxides and all that stuff. Y'all are the professionals. Free shipping. Wait, where did you find the one that's half off? On the Spellbinders website? Look, 41 minutes of this. See what I mean? Labors of love. But so worth it. The vellum looks so delicate. I'm like in love. I just want to put a little bit of blue on the tips. I don't, I want to leave that white. Okay. They last forever? Okay, good. I don't want them to dry out on me. Especially these two colors here. Anyone who catches the replay or you guys after this publishes, please, please, please drop the names of some colors of oxides that you suggest to me. I like really pretty like pastel colors. So if you guys know any really good colors you suggest, like I want like a really soft yellow now. And some more pinks. But this, um, these two colors look amazing. Okay, make sure you go through the layers. So just doing like the middle right here makes all the difference, guys. Y'all talking about other things. What are you guys talking about? I don't know if I want to do the smaller ones. Okay. I cut a lot of them, guys. Jeez. All right. dries pretty quick you can really see how that color looks on the side on the white so pretty I think this would be fun to like have your kids help you with. My daughters will enjoy doing this probably. Side. I cut so many. I'm sorry, guys. I want to really do these smaller ones. Okay. 
All right, we'll do the other little ones after we put some of these together because I'm thirsty to see what they're going to look like. Let me close up my new precious. Oh, these little pink ones are so cute. I got a bunch here. Okay. Let's move this out the way. All right. You guys can make the lines or you cannot. It's up to you. Let me get these by size. I haven't used my oxides in a long time. Do you think I need to re-ink them? I don't think so, girl, because everyone swears by them that they're really good and they last a long time. I need to find my bigger ball ones of these things. This one's from Dollar Tree, guys. It works pretty good. I love this tool. I use it for so many different things. Okay. Some of these. Oh, this color is so pretty. Let's do a couple of these. Mine are good too. I never have to just be sure that they're close good. Parasol isn't coming out until August. All right, let me go ahead and do these. Can make two of them. Where's my sis Tara? Is she sleeping? Somebody send her the link. Where is she working? All right, let's put this together. So you see the lines, the line ones, they give it so much character. I really like the way it looks with the lines. Ouch. Burn myself.
Girl, pretty. Oh my God, so beautiful. I love it. Very gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Okay. With vellum and two colors of the oxides. Let me hurry up and get done with this live. Your health bridge is so pretty. So you can do as little or as many um, layers as you like, okay? This one's gonna have a lot less than this one. And then let's do the smaller one with these. So you guys can do whatever centers you like. The die actually comes with some centers. But I'm going to use my little crystals from Urban Gems. And then I'm going to throw those little tiny pink ones that I have right here. I'm going to throw them in there. Okay, just like that. Aren't they so beautiful? Alicia, you got some colors I don't have, girl, and they look gorgeous. All right, so we got all of our vellum flowers done. Thank you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pour some of these crystals in here. I'm just going to do the pink and the white. This is the coconut color from Urban Gems. I'm going to leave these down below so you guys can grab them. If you don't have them, check out all the colors. This is grapefruit. Check out Alicia's channel. She hauled a lot of other colors. I think she got like almost every damn color, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to mix these. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, I love the coconut ones. These are my two favorite colors right here. Okay, Tara has every color of the rainbow, okay? I'll mix these up a little bit. And then you guys know how I've been doing this, just putting some glue and just dropping them bad boys in, okay? And you can even layer. Oh my God, that looks so pretty, guys. Wow. If you do not have these in your stash, I don't know what you're doing with your crafty life. You need these in your stash, okay? Use my code Pucci10 to get 10% off at Urban Gems. This is gorgeous. And it doesn't matter if some of them are like flipped over. Look at how pretty. Okay. All right. Look at how gorgeous, guys. And you can load them in there, okay? You can do a couple of layers of glue. You can do a little bit. Whatever floats your boat. Look at how gorgeous, guys. So pretty. So again, these are labors of love, but I think that it would be good if you just, um, maybe one day you can cut and ink some. Or maybe just cut one day, ink another day. And you can go crazy and make so many of these. If you guys make these, please tag me. I would love to see how you guys made yours. What colors you used. What you put in the center of yours. All that good stuff. Bust out that vellum that we all have. 
Yes, the dye does have leaves. This is how they cut out. They're these. these I think these are just too gold. For, I don't like this color gold for this. Um, they're too harsh for this. But the dye comes with all of this for those of you who missed it. Okay. You can put your own leaves on here, though. I really don't. I don't know if I like these leaves. But these are peony leaves, so maybe that's why. All right, let me finish putting my jimmies in on these two. Look at how pretty, guys. I really love the ombre effect. Look at that. Gorgeous. Does Let me know if you guys know uh, oxide color and the mint color, like a pretty mint. I need a soft mint. If you guys can suggest one, please, please, please put it in the comment section once this video uploads. Guys, I would really love it for everyone who joined my lives. If you guys like want to re-uploads, leave me a comment. I love to comment back with you guys and engage with you guys. Okay, I usually try to comment to every single person who comments on my videos. Okay. Look at how gorgeous, guys. So beautiful. So just experiment with your um with your stash. Let's do this one. I'm only gonna put a little bit in this one. These crystals, they just bring like these flowers to a whole nother level. You guys saw how I did the garden party ones, and they just were just as gorgeous with paper, okay? So look at how beautiful they look with vellum. I feel like they look even more prettier when vellum. Okay. And then these are the ones that I was experimenting with. I use pink vellum. There is some shimmer spray. So you can like shimmer your, um, your vellum first. Let it dry. It does crinkle up on you. Just, you know, bear in mind that. But it's fine because you're going to um, be rounding these flowers out anyways. Okay. You're going to be altering the flowers anyways. This is how it looks without nothing and just those lines, the pink vellum. And then this one, I was experimenting. I used gold on the tip marker. And then I also put stickles and some of this from Urban Gems. Glitz Glitter Gel. Okay. In the gold color. Let me put some crystals in all these. I don't like putting leaves on my flowers. I like to leave them without leaves and putting leaves after I put them on a project. Because I don't know, I just, I'm just really weird about placement. And so I need it like placed in the right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I have the flowers like this, I might want to put the leaves here. I might want to put them here, here. So I like to do my leaves last. But you guys do you. Do you, boo-boo? Look how pretty. I don't know. I thought the pink was really pretty, but honestly, I love these, guys. They're just so soft and pretty. Thank you, Sandra. Look how gorgeous. Really pretty. So gorgeous. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really forced myself to do this video because I have a lot of things that I have to do still. But um, I wanted to come on here and do something other than some design team stuff. And I just really, really, really have been trying to play with the things that I'm buying. I'm trying to get better with that, okay? But my time is very limited. So look at how gorgeous. I'm glad that... Um, that I did this because I have not tried this until this live. So let me put some more glue on here. I feel like it's falling apart. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys so, so much. And don't forget, you guys drop down below in the comment section. Once this video uploads, let me know what colors you suggest for these oxides. Because now I have to have every color. I have to have all the pretty colors. So whatever pastel colors you suggest, let me know, especially the pinks. Look how pretty. 
All right. So snatch that die if you guys can. All right. And tag me in your, um, your pictures. I want to see how your flowers looks guys. Bye everyone. Have a great night.